the prologue from the transmission of doubt by Darfrey John July the 27th 1982 the unity one the self-consciousness of individual beings inheres in transcendental consciousness or transcendental divine being itself. The body-mind of every individual being inheres in the self-radiant love bliss of transcendental divine being itself. Nature or the worlds of the relations of self-conscious psychophysical beings inheres in a matrix of light or energy or life that also inheres in the self-radiant love bliss of transcendental divine being itself that in which or in whom self-consciousness the body-mind and all possible worlds of experience and knowledge in here is self-radiant, eternal, indestructible, perfect and absolute happiness. We are in essence or in reality that one. We are not destructible even by death. We are, in our conditional individuality, transformable in or by life and death. We can, and ultimately or inevitably, we will realise our identity with that one. And by that realisation we can and necessarily will ascend into the domain of that one. This is the faith or intelligent certainty of those who are founded in clear understanding. 2. The conventional and generally materialistic philosophies that doubt and deny the one transcendental divine being are actually neurotic psychologies that are based on the self-contraction or the failure to understand the self, transcend the self-contraction and recognize the worlds or processes of experience and knowledge. Such presumptuous philosophies wrongly attribute utter independence to form and mind and consciousness. Such psychologies are grounded in fear misunderstanding, recoil, alienation, horror and death. Therefore, what is necessary is self-transcending. Therefore, what is necessary is self-understanding, self-transcendence and a recognition of all appearances in their substance or source condition. Then the unity of existence will stand obvious in the midst of self and world. Then the way of self-transcendence and ultimate translation will be clearly revealed to the living being.